In this lesson, we'll focus on finding the circumference of a circle. As a reminder, the circumference is the distance around the outside of the circle. Okay. We have two different formulas for finding the circumference of a circle. And the first one is just um, circumference equals pi times diameter. And re recall that the diameter is the distance across the circle through its center. The second one, you'll see c equals 2 pi r pretty commonly. And that means the circumference equals 2 times pi times the radius. You should notice that this works because 2 times the radius, the radius is the distance from the center of the circle to the edge. And if you put 2 radii together, then it makes the diameter. So you'll see that these formulas mean exactly the same thing. And you can use either one. You don't have to memorize them both. We usually will approximate pi as about 3.14. So I might ask you to use a different approximate, or occasionally you'll use the pi button on your calculator, but usually when I ask you to approximate pi, you'll use 3.14 for pi. So we're going to go ahead and do a couple examples, and your task is to find the circumference of each circle. You're going to express your answer both in pi units, which we'll talk about, and also a decimal to the nearest hundredth, so two decimal places is what I'm looking for. So the first um, problem, the circle tells you that the radius equals 9 meters. So we're going to use, know that the circumference equals pi times the diameter or 2 times pi times the radius. What I typically do here is I plug in 9 for the radius. So I'm going to do 2 times pi times 9. And since multiplication is commutative and you can multiply in any order you want, I typically will do 2 times 9 first. And I'll write my answer as 18 pi. If I ask you to write your answer in pi units, this is what you will write, 18 pi. And because circumference is just a distance, you'll write it meters. In this case, it was labeled in meters. So 18 pi meters is our answer as a, as in pi units. When you're asked to write it as a decimal to the nearest hundredth, what you'll do is take pi and call it 3.14, because that's what we'll round. So then you're totally fine using a calculator on this one. You can type in 18 times 3.14 on your calculator, and you'll get about 56.52 meters. And because we rounded pi to 3.14, it's really pretty important to me that you put this approximately sign, which looks like a squiggly equals, instead of just writing an equal sign. Because every time we're using pi, if we're not leaving it in pi units, we're rounding. So I'd like that squiggly equals sign. Okay, let's try the second one. It's going to be very similar. So we're going to, again, our formula is pi times diameter, or pi times 2 times radius. This time it's going to be the easiest to just use the diameter it's given to us here. So we'll do pi times 10. Hey, wonderful. In pi units, it's already done. This is 10 pi centimeters. Okay. Then when I'm going to do that as a decimal to the nearest hundredth, I'm going to multiply 10 times 3.14, and that equals 31.4. Since I was mean and said to express to the nearest hundredth, then you would want to write 31.40. So you have two decimal places, even though that's really untraditional. And we rounded, so approximately, and write that as that. Let's do one last one. Sometimes I give you the circumference, and you have to find the radius or the diameter or something. So the circumference of a circle is 36 pi units. So remember, we find circumference by pi times diameter or 2 times pi times radius. So this time I'm telling you that pi times diameter equals 36 pi. Well, you're going to notice that these pi values are exactly the same. Therefore, the diameter must equal 36. The question asks, what's the radius, though? So if the diameter is 36 going all the way across, the radius must be half of that. So we'll do 36 divided by 2 and get 18. And this time, I didn't say any label except for units, so you'll write 18 units. All right, time to practice finding circumference.